And there I will show you one function which is available in the select menu and it's the selection sets. You see on this part here, we've got 10 selection sets from 0 to 9 or from 1, from 1 to 0 and you have the clear set function. If I click on the selection sets 1, you have a list of, of functions which are currently disabled because there is nothing selected on the chart. So, what is the use of the selection sets? The selection sets allows you to group information, whether they are entities and links, into different sets. And then they will allow you to make queries or to search what are information which are part of one selection set and part of another selection set. And it can also allow you to make quick selections of information which are spread among the chart. I will start by creating my first selection set. I will select those information and I can also select this information because to show you that they don't need to be grouped. And I go on selection set one and I click on define set. And now you can see that you have on the items on the chart, you have a one, because it's selection set number one, one displayed in a yellow square. And if I double click on one entity or one link, you see in the attributes of the item properties, you've got the selection set attributes, which is set to yes. Now let's say, so you have those items which are part of the selection set number one. I can of course add new items to this set. If for example, I select those information, I go on selection set number one and add to set. And of course I can remove some information from the set. I click and just go on remove from set. I can also invert the membership of selected items. So how does it work? If I select those information, you see you have one record which is not part of the selection set and a link and this account number is part of the selection set. I want to invert this thing, which means that I want this record to be part of the item set number one, and I want to remove this link and this entity from the, from the set number one. So if I go on invert membership of selected items, that's it, it's done. And of course I can clear all the elements from the set by going on clear set. Of course clear set will not delete the records from the chart, I will just remove the items from the set. And if I want to undo or to cancel uh, what I did, I just go on Control Z a couple of times, and that's it. The information are back and the set is back. You also see that as now I have some records which are part of the session of set number one, there is a darker blue rectangle on selection set number one to show you that this selection set has some records. You can of course add other entities and other items on the chart to other selection sets. So let's say I want to select this information plus this one and I want to add them to selection set number two. I go on define set. So you have some records which are now part of the selection set number two, but you see you also have some records like this one, some entity, which are both part of the set number one and set number two. And if I double click, you will have the attributes selection set one and two, both to yes. So this was a presentation of the functions which are in the manage set membership part. And now I will show you 
the functions which are part of the use set. So you have this chart, and I want to quickly select all the information which are part of the selection set number one. I just go on selection set number one. I click on select mem members of set. And automatically, all the items which are part of this set are selected. And now I will select some information on the chart where I have, at the same time, I have some records or some items which are not part of the selection set number one and some which are part of the selection set number one, which is this one. If I click to add members to selection, what it will do, as you can read on the tooltip, it will extend the current selection to include all the items which are in selection set number one. So, you see, initially we had selected this information and when I, when I want to add members to selection, it added to the, to the selection all the items which are part of the selection set number one. And I select again this group of information. The next function is remove members from selection. This is the exact opposite of the previous function. It will remove the items that are in selection set one from the current selection. So we can guess what it will do. We have those information and the only item which is part of selection set number one is this one. So when I will click on remove members from selection, it will remove the, this entity from the selection. But of course, it will not remove it from the selection set, it will just remove it from the items which are currently selected on the chart. So next function is, uh, so I'm selecting again some group of entities and links, and I'm going to selection set number one, and I've got invert selections of members. You can read that it's, it will select currently unselected members of selection set number one, and deselect currently selected members of selection set number one. So what it will do is it will unselect this entity because it's part of the selection of the selection set number one and it's selected and it will add to the selection of the entities of the items on the chart all the items which are part of the selection set number one and which are not selected. So let's try. See, this one was deselected and all the other items which are part of the selection set number one are now selected. And finally, the intersect selection with set, it will look for all the items which are currently selected and it will only keep selected the items which are part of selection set number one. So it, it should unselect everything except this item because it's both selected on the chart plus it's part of the selected set number one. Let's try intersect selection with set. This will allow me, for example, to query the chart to ask, give me all the items which are both part of selection set number one and the selection set number two. So first, I need to select all the items from selection set number one. I go, so I'm going to selection set number one, go new sets, select members of set. And now I'm going to selection set number two. I will click on intersect selection with set. And you see, we only have those two items on the chart which are still selected. And finally, the last function is clear all sets. So as you can guess, it will remove all sets from the selection set number one to 10. That's it. To make you better understand the different functions which are available here, I made some drawings. So let me show them to you. So selection sets. I did two circles, one in orange, which represent the items which are part of the selection set, and one in blue, which represents all the selected items on the chart. And in the middle here, you will have the items which are both part of 
the selection set and are also currently selected on a chart. So the first function, which is define set, you still have the two parts, the, sele the selection set and the selected items. And the result of define set is that it will take all the items which are currently on the selected items and it will create a new set. So if there were already items which were on the selection set, they, it, they will be removed and replaced by all the items which are on, on the selected items. Next one is add to set. Add to set, the result is it will add to the selection set number one or two or whatever, it will add all the items which are currently selected on the chart. Next one is remove from set. The remove from set, you have the, the selection set and it removes all the items which are currently selected and which are part of the selection set. Invert membership of selected items. It will add to the set all the items which are selected except the one which are already in selection set. So you will have this result, the selected result, and this one, the items which are here, will be removed from the selection set. And clear set, well, as the name implies, it will empty the selection set. So you, you will have an empty selection set. Now in the use set part, you have select members of set. So in orange, you have the, the selection set. In blue, you have the, the selected items. It will only select the items which are part of the, of the selection set. If there were items which were selected but not part of the selection set, they will be unselected. The add members to selection, you have the selection set, you have the selected items. It will add to the selected items all the items which are part of the selection set. Remove members from selection, you have the selected items and it will remove from the list of selected items all the items which are part of the selection set. So all the items which are both part of the selection set and which are already selected on the, on the chart. The invert selection of members, we have selection set, we have the selected item and we, have, we might have some items which are both part of the two groups. And the result is it will add to the selected items all the items which are in the, in the selection set except the one which are in the middle here, which are part of both groups. And finally, the intersect selection of, with set, it will just keep selected here the, the items which were part of both groups. So you have the selection set and the selected items, it will just keep selected the items which were here. So I hope this presentation of the functions of the selection set allows you to, to have a better understanding of how this function is working. Thank you.